everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miss A. Webb. On today's video, we're gonna discuss what what sold last week, and it was a really interesting week. So if all that, if that sounds good to you, just stay tuned. <music> My name is Amanda, and I go by Miss A Web on social media as well as my closets and stores. Um, I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Etsy. Although I've not made a sell on Etsy, so I have stuff on there. <laughs> on this channel, you'll find everything dealing with reselling, from what sold to hauls, and some tips and tricks along the way. Today's video is a what sold video. It's for what sold June 15th to June 21st. That is a Monday to, to a Sunday. And as I said previously in the beginning of this video, that it was a very interesting week for me. It is the first time ever in the, my reselling career, although that's only been two and a half years, um, that eBay beat Poshmark. I made more sales and more money on eBay last week than Poshmark. So I think there's a number of factors um, for that. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that at the end, end of the video, but right now we'll go ahead, get into the sales. I'm going to pop up a picture of a, the item right here on the screen. I'm going to tell you what sold, when it sold, what it sold for, and what I took home. And I'll also try to give you an estimate on how long it has been sitting in my closet or store. Okay, and we're gonna start with Poshmark. I usually divide the videos um, by selling a platform. So I do Poshmark first, and I usually do eBay next, but I'll do Macari, and then eBay, and maybe one day Etsy will be in there. <laughs> but for now, it's just those three platforms. So on Poshmark, Monday the 15th, I made three sales. First sale was this Tommy Hilfiger um, logo uh, sweater. Um, I've had that, I've had it for quite a while, but this was a relisted item. So I relisted it and it sold within a week. Now, it only sold for $15, but hey, I was finally happy to get rid of it because I had sent out much lower offers than that out on my old listing and no takers. So relisting works. And you will see that throughout this video because there are quite a few items that were relisted and sold rather quickly. If I get distracted or you hear a sound, you know what it is if you've been in these videos before it would be my puppy teddy teddy cannot be away from me she just scratched and moaned at the door before i started the video so she is here per usual here she is um so she'll be in and out wandering around i've discovered though that she'll be quieter and maybe even leave if i just leave the door open a crack like as long as she can get to me she's good like, but if I shut a door and she can't get to me, she freaks out. <laughs> like, she doesn't have to be in the room with me. But if I shut the door, she's either waiting on the other side as soon as I open it or she's scratching on the door. I don't know, man. I am her emotional support human. I should wear a vest. Okay, second was this Romeo and Juliet off-the-shoulder blue dress. Um, I bought this a long time ago, probably the same time as that Tommy Hilfiger, um, and had it listed on here, even put it on auction on eBay, and even had it on auction on eBay for like 99 cents. It did not sell, but I relisted it, and it sold within a week and a half, and it sold for $25, taking home 20 Now, I have had this for over a year. Don't get me how that happened, but it did. So relisting works, people. <laughs> okay. Um, third sale and last sale on Monday the 15th on Poshmark was this Chaser ma Gray Maxi Dress. Um, also a relisted item. There's a lot of relisted items. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, I sold it for $15, taking home 12 But I've had that for, ooh, I don't even know how long. Maybe a year as well. So relisting. Okay, Tuesday the 16th and Wednesday the 17th, I made zero sales on Poshmark. Yeah, uh, that hasn't happened in a while. I haven't really made back-to-back -back no sale days, um, but it did. And it's actually not my only no sale day on Poshmark last week. But anyway, Thursday the 18th, things picked up and I sold five items. Well, I made four sales because there was a bundle, but I sold five items total. First was the bundle. It was a bundle of two vintage 80s um, clothing items and first was this animal jewel print uh, mesh top it had a tie waist in the front it's really cool um, it was also plus size I believe pretty sure it was a 1x um, but it also sold with this vintage 
that does not sound right. This vintage 80s chunky knit sweater. It was a v-neck. Um, it was blue and black. It was very cute. Um, I have another one in my closet that's gray and black, but these two items together sold for $50, so I took home $40. And both of those items actually have not been listed in my closet very long. The chunky knit sweater has been listed since about December, and the animal print um, top has been listed for about a month, so not too long. Um, I'm sure the chunky knit sweater might have gone sooner if I hadn't listed it in December when winter was almost kind of over <laughs> for the south anyway. Um, it was 95 degrees today, by the way. 95. I'm going to point, point, I'm going to put a meme up here that ex explains to you what it's like in Georgia in the summertime, particularly South Georgia. Anyway, next sale was this Lululemon wide tank top. Um, it was pink and yellow, had the stripes. Um, I sold for $25, so you have a 20, which was actually pretty good for a Lululemon tank. They don't go for as much as like the leggings um, or anything else of a Lululemon. Um, so I was happy with that sale. It was in my closet for about two months. Next is this vintage Disney tie. It was a silk tie. Really liked it. it had Goofy, Mickey, and Donald on it. Um, I sold this for $20, taking home $16, which is nice because ties in my area are $0.99, cents. so pretty happy with that. Next was this pair of vintage leather loafers. I sold these for $20 and took home 16. Um, but a case was opened up today on this item, actually be right before I filmed this video. And apparently the shoes fell apart after she wore them. Um, I, I guess the soles might've been glued on by somebody who owned them previously. Um, I of course just you know left a comment in the, um, the case, you know, just refund her the money. She can throw them away. My bad. I didn't check. They, yeah, they looked fine to me, but you know, whatever. Twenty dollars, taking home sixteen. But I'm not gonna get that, so forget it. All right, Friday the nineteenth, and I made zero sales on Poshmark. Yep, another zero dollar day. And on Saturday, the twentieth, I only made one sale, and it was this pair of Quinn boots. These were cute. They had like a metal. I don't even know what you'd call it. It's kind of like a spur detail, like a western boot, but it's not um, on the ankle and the heel. So that was cool. But anyway, I sold those for $25, taking home 20. Those have been in my closet since December as well. On Sunday the 21st, I made two sales. Okay, first sale was this vintage 80, um, 80s pastel um, blazer. Um, it was by a brand called Nikki. I've actually sold an item from this brand previously. It was a kind of um, 80s prom dress. Looked very much like um, like a pretty and pink prom dress, except it was black. But I sold this for $25, taking home $30. My last sale on Poshmark last week was this vintage 90s chunky knit sweater. Um, it was just a gray sweater. I sold it for $38, taking home $30.40. This was actually a full price sale. So that was nice. That hardly ever happens on Poshmark. And the blazer, by the way, was in my closet for less than a month. The chunky wool knit sweater was in my closet since December. So that is a total of 10 sales on Poshmark with 11 items. Um, the total was $258, but after fees, I took home $206.40. Now, I only have one sale on Macari, so this will be quick. On Monday the 15th, I made my one sale on Macari, and this was this Show Me Your Moo Moo New Tags swing dress. It was just white with a v-neck. Um, I forgot the exact name of the dress. Um, if you don't know, on the inside tag of all Show Me Your Moo Moo pieces, it'll have the name of the item. So I sold this for $30, taking home $22.01. So this item had only been listed on, I've only just recently, like last week, maybe middle of the week before, started relisting on Macari because I had taken all my listings down. But so this item had been listed in my Poshmark and eBay store since probably November um, and had not sold, but I put it on Macari and it sold in less than a week. So, you know, it's important to relist and to list on multiple platforms, in my opinion, if you have the time. Okay, so eBay. eBay was my main boo this week, her main bay, if you wanna say. I don't know, what do the kids say? What, I don't want to play with the monkey. What, no, I don't, I can't toss it. There's nowhere to toss it in this room. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so yeah, last week on eBay, I made 18 sales. That was great. 
So on Monday the 15th, I made two sales. First was this Rebecca Taylor silk top, tunic top or dress, depending. Um, I sold it for $29. Now that's what I sold it for. That is not what it went for because I charge shipping on all of my items. So it's really the $29 plus tax plus shipping. So there's that. But I only tell you what they bought it for from me. But just remember, they also pay tax and they also pay shipping on top of that. What? I cannot throw this. There's like nowhere to throw it. Here, I'll toss it to you. Anyway. Yes, Rebecca Taylor. Also, by the way, that had been listed for quite a while. Six months, maybe. Six months on Poshmark and eBay. Um, but I had relisted it on eBay. Um, and that's not a... Let me... Let me clarify, I didn't relist it on eBay. I ended my previous listing and so put sold similar on eBay. That is the way you should do it on eBay because if it just relists, it still keeps it as a stale listing. But if you end the listing and sell similar, it becomes a new item. So I can talk more about that in a later video. If y'all would like some eBay tips, let me know down below. Next, I sold this J. Crew Collection strapless dress. So, J. Crew Collection is J. Crew's highest um, brand. I'm not actually sure if they still make J. Crew Collection, but it used to be its highest um, line. I have had this dress. I was so excited when I found this dress because I think I got it when I like almost started reselling, so like a year and a half ago. So excited! It sold for fourteen dollars. <laughs> You know, somebody sent me a $14 offer. I was like, please just take it. I mean, I made a little money, but I was just happy to have it sold and out of my house. So I hope they enjoy it. All right, Tuesday the 16th, I sold this rag and bone jeans. Now people have such luck with jeans. You're, you're being very distracting, I know you are. Look how she wraps her paws. Like, <laughs> like she... She does that. Like if I'm like playing tug of war or something with her, she wraps her paws around like that. <laughs> anyway, she's so funny. Tuesday the 16th, I sold a pair of rag and bone jeans. Um, I've had these rag and bone jeans for quite a while. I know a lot of people have good luck with rag and bone jeans. I know a lot of people have good luck with all jeans. I do not. <laughs> jeans don't seem to sell for me. And if they do sell for me, it's jeans other people say don't sell for them. For example, I sell a lot of Torrid. I sell a lot of Harley Davidson jeans, and I sell a lot of Miss Me jeans. Like, no other jeans seem to want to sell for me. I had a pair of Rock Revival jeans forever. I had a pair of Mother jeans forever. <laughs> I had these rag and bone jeans for eight months, and they were like skinny leg, and I'm pretty sure they had the raw hem, which I bought them when that was like a big deal. Sat in my closet forever. Anyway, they finally sold. I took $25 for them. Okay. Wednesday the 17th, I made two sales. First was this pair of Mark Fisher booties. They were just a brown leather kind of suede material. I sold them for $25. I'm being very generous with my shoe offers right now because my shoe racks are getting a little big and I would like to just, a little big, a little full, and I would like to make room for the other shoes I've already bought, <laughs> but I haven't listed yet, so they're still up here. Because as soon as I list them, they go down in the garage because my husband does not like the shoes to be in the house. Next was this Talani uh, velvet tunic. It was really cute. I can't remember. Um, um, I sold this tunic for $20. Um, Thursday the 18th, I sold this cool jacket. I was really excited when I found this cool jacket um, quite a while ago, actually. Um, just because I had heard it was really, this brand was really good. Um, but I've had it for six months and finally sold it for $20. Next was a pair of these Cole Haan penny loafers. I sold them for $23. They've been in my closet for about two months, or my store in this case. Next was this Michael Simon cardigan. I pick up Michael Simon because I just think they're cute because they have these weird like stitch patterns on them. I sold a dress one time that had teacups. Cardigan um, had sailboats on it. But I only sold it for $10, even though it was new with tax, because it did have stains on it. So I did sell it for $10. So that person got a good deal. 
Um, next was this pair of Corky's um, wedges. They um, had um, a flower detail on them. Another brand where people are like, oh, this does really well, Corky's. I have a lot of pair of Corky's because I just found a bunch within a five day period. Um, and these were the first ones to sell and these actually I thought were the worst ones, but they sold the first, they sold first. And I sold them for $25. But I've had them for about three months. Um, next is this set of four um, plates. They were by Corning. They were the, I think it's the French Spice print around. Um, I sold them for $24. Okay, Friday the 19th, I sold this wool zoot hat, this vintage hat. It um, had been in my closet for three, um, stores for three weeks. I sold it for $20. Okay, on Saturday the 20th, I made three sales. First was the Show Me Your Moo Moo Romper. Um, it had been in my closet for about a month, but I sold it for $42. Next was the pair of Torrid Tall Lace-Up Boots. They lace in the back. I sold them for $25. My Torrid shoes sell really fast. Um, actually, a lot of my Torrid sells really fast. So, as long as it's the newer white and black label. But people are saying that Torrid doesn't sell that well for them anymore. It does for me. Soft Surroundings was my next sale. It was this peach colored um, tank top. It was a 3X um, and it had um, sequin design on it. It was really pretty. That only been listed in my closet for less than a week and I sold it for $34.99. So I pick up Soft Surroundings um, as long, well, either if it's really cute and detailed or it's a large enough. Um, Sunday the 21st, I sold I sold four items. First was this Eloquy black dress. It was new without tags. It would have been new without new with tags, but I accidentally rubbed all the tag. But it had been in my closet for four months, so I sold it for $18. Next was this Banana Republic Factory plaid top. This had been in my closet and store for a year and a half. I'd even put it on auction for a while i for I even put it on auction for rotation did not sell um but did the um end and sell similar on ebay and it sold within a week and i sold it for twelve dollars next was this pair of ag super skinny ankle jean jeggings and i sold those for 29 dollars those were also a sell similar item um, I all, my last sale last week was this pair of Levi Bermuda shorts. They were up for two weeks and I sold them for $12. They came out of a thread up box. I'll link that unboxing above if you haven't seen it. But okay, so on eBay, that was 18 sales for a total of $407.99. Taking home after fees, which I put fees as a clean 20%. Um, because after PayPal, after eBay fees, and after any promoted listings, because I do promote some of my items by 2 to 5%, I just figure it's around 20 So taking out fees and all that, that would be $326.39. So last week I made a total of 30 sales selling 31 items because I had that one bundle. And it was for a total of $695.99. And after fees, it was, I took home $554.80. That was an average price of $22.45. So not bad on my average price. I'd like to make better sales than that, but average price was very good. Um, and so what I was gonna say is the reason why I think eBay did a lot better is while I have kept up in the previous weeks of my sharing when it comes to Poshmark, I still share five times a day. Um, I, well, I try for five times a day. It might be three to five. I have only started being consistent with my listing again. I used to consistently list five new items a day, um, but life has gotten in the way again. Um, I know I talked about how I was going to talk about this later, but I can talk about it now because what I thought was going to happen is actually not happening. <laughs> I thought actually the reselling was going to become my only gig, so my full-time only income, um, only source of income. I had put in my notice on my job, thought that was ending, um, but then an old supervisor within the same um, company asked me to take this different position, so I am. So <laughs> never mind. 
<laughs> it is still going to be my part-time gig, I guess. Um, sometimes I do full-time hours though, so it's not, that's why I don't really introduce myself as a part-time reseller. Because I feel like it's, even if you say this is my side hustle or my part-time hustle, when it comes to listing, photographing, sharing, shopping, like really how many hours are we putting into this? <laughs> um, so sometimes it feels like a full-time job. <laughs> But I actually love this one <laughs> and you know hopefully we'll love the new job um, but anyway what I was saying is haven't been able to list as much so I have listed but a little more inconsistently last week I did much better listing so hopefully this week in sales and Poshmark um, will be better because um, I, I really do think that is like the biggest thing on Poshmark sharing is a big deal but listing is a very big deal <laughs> listing is my top thing in Poshmark. Like that is what will make you have sales is listing a new item. And I think the reason why I did so much better on eBay is what I discussed is every day, it, I, whatever was ending that day, I went ahead and ended it and then did a sale similar. So eBay thought I was listing things every day, more than five things in some cases. So I was feeding the beast on eBay, but not really on Poshmark. So my sales reflected that. So that is the main reason I think that I sold. That is the main reason I think I sold way better on eBay than I did Poshmark last week, which was the first time again that that has happened. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you next time. I think my next video will be a haul coming up later this week. And let me know down below what your favorite sell last week was. And if you sell on both platforms, which did better, Poshmark or eBay, I would like to know. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.